let's start solving example 41 chapter 7 as it is a very important question from indefinite integrals and a rather difficult solution is given in the NCRT book so let's go for a simpler one first of all let us take integral i as under root of tan x plus under root of cortex dx let's simplify it in the terms of sin x and cos x and then take the LCM. I hope everyone knows how to take the LCM. That's a simple step. It comes as root sin x cos x. In the numerator, I will get root sin into root sin that is sin x plus as such root cos into root cos that is cos x. As soon as you see the denominator, sin x cos x, you wish you had 2 here. So that 2 sin x cos x comes into a formula. So I am going to multiply by 2. Actually I have written 2 inside the square root. That means I have to multiply with root 2 to balance it out. Now it becomes root 2 into sin x plus cos x as such and the denominator can be written in a very easy identity 1 minus sin x minus cos x whole square. When you expand this, it is a minus b whole square. That gives you a square plus b square minus 2ab. That is sin square x plus cos square x. That is equal to 1 which cancels out with this one and you are left with 2 sin x cos x which we already had. Now let's go for substitution. Let sin x minus cos x be taken as t. In the indefinite integral when we take the substitution we have to go for the derivatives also. That gives us the whole numerator as dt. So it becomes very simple dt upon root 1 minus t square whose integration is quite simple as sin inverse t and since we are working in an indefinite integral so we have to add the constant of integration also. Let's put back the value of t as sin x minus cos x and that is your final answer. This question generally comes in 4 or 6 marks and it is very well presented within a limited frame with the simple steps.